Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And when I launched my vlog, I imagined that there I will tell you emotional and important stories that spread within our society and may not be that visible in your media. And today is exactly the video I uh, see my responsibility to create, though I don't like making such videos. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe because there are many things the world needs to know about Ukraine and we were hidden behind Iron Cat and occupied by Soviet Union and by Russia for so long that some started doubting maybe we are a part of Russia, but we're not and now you see this difference and this difference is huge, civilizational. On the thumbnails of my video you see a photo of a man and I was asking you do you know who he is? And I think that all of us should, even though right now, I don't know who he is. This is a photo of a Ukrainian soldier who was a prisoner of war and he was captured by Russians. And you know that there are rules of war and there is a Geneva Convention which says how soldiers should act with prisoners of war. This man did not have weapons and he did not attack Russians who uh, captured him. He was standing brave, confident, as Ukrainians are in the face of Russian orcs. He was smoking, because on the photo it's visible, and he said then, glory to Ukraine, Slava Ukraini, which is an important and symbolic phrase right now, and many of you share it with me in comments. And they shot him. Directly after he said this phrase, they told some bad words, something like, I will translate, maybe it's interesting for you, you have to know it, you bitch, so you say uh, this or something, and uh, they shot him dead. And first of all, uh, this demonstrates the level of hatred within Russians against Ukrainians that demonstrate the level of low morale and like no um, codex of honor in Russian armed forces because shooting a person that does not have weapons and does not um, is not dangerous for you uh, is kind of lower than you can expect from a human being and i think that this uh, video uh, that was um, shared by the office of president that this video filmed by russian soldiers who shot the man clearly illustrates this difference between us ukrainians and them russians also it demonstrates that we will win this war because for me a cool brave person is not the one who shoots a person without weapons, but the one who without weapons continues saying glory to Ukraine, glory to the USA, glory to France, or whatever he believes in. In this case, this was a Ukrainian soldier fighting for Ukrainian freedom and democracy, fighting for the civilized world and protecting the world against Russian orcs, and he was shot just because he said glory to Ukraine. But I want to concentrate on his personality, I'm sure we will learn more about him in future, and how brave he was. He did not have any choice but uh, to surrender, and he could have uh, like remained silent or ask for, uh, I don't know, uh, mercy or whatever. And even in this civilized army, when the rules of war are observed, he would need, he wouldn't need to do anything, he would just go to his prisoner's camp and then maybe uh, he could have been exchanged for a Russian orc or something, but he chose to die with dignity and his last words were glory to Ukraine. So imagine what we feel every time we hear Slava Ukraini. It is a very meaningful and charged phrase and it's not because like our grandparents told us about that. We um, protect this phrase daily with our blood, with our best people. And um, I thought how important it is that this recording uh, became 
unknown. There are many such situations uh, that no one witnessed and no one will ever learn. And that's the tragedy of war. And today I thought how important it is to spread the information, to fix the information, to exchange it with the world. Apart from fighting and helping those who fight, I think on the second place comes sharing this information with the world and watching and listening to this information, not closing your eyes to that. So all of you will see this man and you will know his story, that he was so brave that in face of deadly danger, he said the phrase that demonstrate his attitude to his country and his eagerness to protect it forever from evil totalitarian terrorist regime of Putin and Russians who support him. And he was brave enough to do it. He smoked like he, he... This is just like a movie scene. But it's not a movie. It's real life. It's something that happened. We don't know exactly when. But during this Russian war in Ukraine. And I feel like I, I cannot... There's a mixture of feelings that I have. Of course, I feel sorry for him. But also I feel proud for him. And I feel great injustice that people like that die. Because imagine with this dignity, with the virtues that he has, what a citizen that was. And also, I feel sorry for those who were killed in similar circumstances, and I'm sure there were many. I feel sorry for such people who were not even fixed on video and we will never learn their stories. They will stay forever unknown soldiers. Their families will miss them and their story will not be known. As the story of this man, a brave Ukrainian soldier who said Russian orcs Slava Ukraini and they shot him with hatred. I know that those who hate never win. I know it personally, starting from school, that's what my parents told me, that's how I felt. When you become overwhelmed with hatred, you always lose, you start making mistakes. And Russia does that already for a long period of time. And all that war in Ukraine is a huge mistake. The problem is that on the way to our victory, and I have no doubts that we will win this war together with you guys, that we lose so many beautiful people. And their stories must be shared. I had a separate recording prepared for today, but I have come across the photo of this man all over of Ukrainian Facebook. And at first I did not realize what, what's the business. And then I have read the story, I have watched the video, I will leave a link to Ukrainian article and you can visit the Twitter and you will see the video I'm speaking about, how Russian orcs shoot him, if you are strong enough to watch it. But I think if he was strong enough to die that way, we have to be strong enough to watch it and to tell his story to people who doubt or to people who feel weak, because we need to be strong. And uh, that's why I believe that every story, every photo, every video matters. And I'm also super grateful that living in your happy countries, or not always happy, but normal countries without war, after your job day, after groceries, after doing homework you, with your kids, instead of watching detective stories or reading a book, you choose to watch an update from me or other Ukrainian vloggers. And you care about these people who live miles away from you, but who share so much with you. I mean, values and the desire to live in normal democratic world. So this normalcy, democracy, freedom for Ukrainians today mean danger, death, blood. They are normal words and terms, beautiful, that we read in constitutions. They are our reality. And you see, words matter. Positions that you choose matter. As in case with this beautiful man, and I'm sure soon we will know his name. Thank you so much for sharing these emotions with me. Thank you for supporting my channel and similar projects. And thank you for being with Ukraine in this difficult and dark times. But they will definitely lead us to victory because orcs like that can
and never win. Slava Ukraini!